I'm going to change the subject a little bit here, and I want you to tell me, when you were a child, who were the elders that 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 who were the elders that influenced you? You had once mentioned to me that there were some people who were elderly that that uh, talked with you. Uh, I guess they were family members or. Uh, uh, some other Native Americans. Can you recall some people and and how old they were and some of the things that they that they uh, used to talk to you about when you were a youth? I uh, spoke with sometimes quite at length with with Six Nations people, the Iroquoian, Algonquian peoples. I never missed a chance to uh, visit a reservation and talk to the elders. I talked to people when I was 25 that were then in their 70s, and that's a while ago. Uh, my aunts, uncles, my grandfather passed away at a young age, but I had contact with him. My grandmother was Native American and had tremendous knowledge. She practiced actually the uh, techniques of preserving foods, canning. She had her own garden, which she raised traditional vegetables and food, now preserved how, them, canned them. How old did she uh, grow before she before her passing? How old was your grandmother when she passed? Uh, I believe she was approaching 81 or 82. That's, I can't be... I can't recall. My grandfather passed away too young. My father passed away at 77, but he had uh, a condition caused by uh, strain and uh, also some disease. He had diabetes and uh, hypertension, high blood pressure, that often runs in people of Native American extraction you can bet any person with heavy uh, inheritance of Native American blood, he will have, he's very lucky to avoid either diabetes, hypertension, high blood pressure, many other things. Our people had no resistance to smallpox, even measles. It was brought here, and as a result, when it hit, it killed many, many of them. Chicken pox hit our people hard. And it's a, there was a, probably in the European peoples a little bit of inborn developed resistance, immunization. But I talked with elderly people all over the United States, native, natives of Canada, Central America, Mexico. We we just visited uh, Andersonville today, and we were we were talking a little bit about uh, the displays there. And you said something to me that really struck me. You said that in the uh, various conflicts that the United States has had, a larger percentage of na Native Americans uh, participated in various conflicts and wars, but you, you never really uh, hear that. A greater percentage per capita. That is a fact. Native Americans were tremendously well uh, represented and participated in every conflict that the United States ever was involved in. There are pictures on record. When I was in the service, I saw numerous Native Americans and at Balboa Park Naval Hospital in San Diego after Iwo Jima there were a number of Native American Marines that were in the hospital, Native American infantry, engineers, you name it, they were there. They have given a tremendous account. The exact percentages, I can't quote them, and it may be a bone of contention or denial about the percentages, 
But believe me, Native Americans were well represented in every branch of the armed services, did commendable jobs. Many of them didn't make it back. I was very lucky. I did not see hand-to-hand -hand combat anywhere near like many Native Americans that did see it, what they went through. The end of the war, 1945, at the end of the South Pacific conflict and the Japanese surrender, that had a, a good uh, effect on the chances of my survival. But Native Americans were well represented and very proud. And those that I knew and served with, you couldn't have found better soldiers anywhere.